FitWit's coverage of CES 2017 is brought to you by Fractal Design, MSI, and CableMod. Check out the links in the description below, because if you don't... I will find you. And I will kill you. We're at the Razor booth now. It's looking pretty sharp. Get it? So we've been taken to the secret VIP back room at the Razor booth here, where they're going to be showing off this bad boy. Look at that triple panel display in a freaking GTX 1080 laptop. Are you kidding me? Do you think? Do you think if I kill everyone in this room and grab the laptop, I can make a dash for the exit? I can take him. I can definitely take him. Definitely take him. Paul, on the other hand, yeah, yeah I can totally take Paul. I can totally. I'll, I'll, I'll smash his head in with his own camera. <laughs> They like that. All right, guys, so this is Project Valerie. This is what they're calling it. Again, we're at the Razor booth, and uh, as you can see, it's a laptop with triple 4K displays, um, which is just absolute beastly. Um, now, a lot of people who were walking by, I was hearing people saying, like, oh, my God, that's so stupid, which, if you don't have any use for this, of course it is. You would never pay an arm and a leg for something this crazy. However, if you're a hardcore gamer on the go, or if you just have a really tight space, or if you happen to be, like, a workstation professional, like myself, um, and you're at an event like CES and you're editing footage constantly, this is a freaking godsend. And we've honestly, I, me personally, I've never seen anything like this before. So it's pretty exciting. There's a ton of people that are just surrounding this thing because everyone's just in awe, shock and awe, um, as myself. But uh, basically what we're dealing with here is a triple panel display that these uh, two peripheral panels actually slide uh, seamlessly in front or maybe behind uh, that front panel. So they don't actually fold out. They, they, they kind of slide, they're motorized, and they'll actually uh, fold out automatically. I think you like press a button or something and they'll just pop out. And like you can see the bezel is really clean. You don't have to like do any manual adjusting. It's all automatic, um, which is really nice. And uh, the specs on this thing right now, this is based off of the Razer Blade Pro. Uh, I believe, so we're talking a Core i7, either 6th or 7th gen uh, processor from Intel. And we've also got a GTX 1080 in there currently. Now the issue that I'm seeing here, or with that, is that a 1080 probably can't push triple 4K in a lot of AAA games. So they're going to have to think of a way to solve that, either by lowering the resolution on the monitors, which I don't see happening, or maybe adding in some SLI action, maybe having two GTX 1080s in here, or perhaps if Nvidia ever mans up and announces the GTX 1080 Ti, maybe we could see that in this thing as well. Also, it kind of depends on when this thing comes out. If this, if, if this uh, product doesn't hit the market until next year and there's a whole new generation of, of CPUs and GPUs, then that's, of course, going to be what this is going to be specced out to be. As far as aesthetics are concerned, we do get some RGB lighting uh, underneath both of the side monitors, which is pretty fancy. Of course, RGB is uh, still taking off and exploding everywhere. Well, you wouldn't expect much less from Razer anyway. Um, we've also got just kind of a really nice sleek aesthetic all around that is very reminiscent of the Razer Blade Pro. Now actually when this thing is all folded up and closed, um, you're actually only talking 10 to 12 pounds maybe, which is still pretty heavy in fact. However, there are other laptops that are 17 inches, just like this one, that are even heavier than that. So the fact that they're able to fit triple displays in that type of form factor at that weight is pretty damn impressive. They didn't mention battery life, but I would imagine it's anywhere from three to five minutes. All right guys, really quick drop and shot, something I forgot to mention. If you look at the back of the laptop here, you can see that there's a panel on each side that kind of opens up for ventilation. These panels actually open up automatically as soon as you uh, press the button to uh, pop out those side panels, the side monitors there. And obviously it's just for aesthetic design and just for looks to, to, to look pretty badass, quite frankly, because uh, let's be honest, monitors don't really need any additional cooling, but just thought that was something pretty cool to, to, uh, to show you guys. Um, they don't have a demo of that actually happening. This is just a cosmetic version. Again, they're still working on a fully functional prototype that hopefully we'll be able to see soon. Another interesting thing that Razer was mentioning is that they might release a model similar to this that only has one panel that, that pops out out of the side instead of three. And I, I think that's the one that I would go for if it ever came to fruition, uh, simply because I don't really care too much about triple display gaming. I actually prefer a single monitor, but when I'm streaming, for example, and I'm playing a game that way, it's nice to have a companion monitor for all your Discord stuff, your VoIP, Twitter, etc., Twitch. Um, also, when you're editing, um, dual, man, dual monitor display is uh, just pretty much exactly where it's at for me. So leave your guys' thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what you think of this thing, if it's totally over the top or if you would totally buy one in a heartbeat. And also let me know what, you, what kind of MSRP you might expect for from a, uh, a, a product like this. I mean, I, I guess it depends on what the internal specs eventually oh. turn out to be, but uh, I'm sure you guys already have some ideas floating around that you want to share in the comments. Um, that's going to do it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tune in for more tech stuff coming at you really soon from CES 2017. And a huge shout out to my sponsors, MSI, Fractal Design, and CableMod. Check out their stuff in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.